Oh, hello. <laughs> the UK's number one celebrity couple are back. <laughs> but this time, they're stateside. We got everything we want, baby. You're invited to share all of the ups and downs of their incredible American adventure. Will Katie adapt to the LA lifestyle? I am what I am. Yeah, tough. Can Pete get his music career back on track? It's still all different shades of pop, you know, except for cheesy. Will Harvey settle in LA's leading specialised school? Different uh, yeah. oh. like so. Is Junior taking after his dad? It's me, it's me, it's me. Oh! And is Princess taking after her mom? She's getting spoiled. Oh, and... <laughs> Stay where you are and don't move an inch because you have an Access All Areas pass to the true story of the UK's hottest celebrity couple. Is this like Christmas? <laughs>
I'm six. So Good you're a boy. big kid. <laughs> are you a big he kid? Is. Harvey, <laughs> say I'm a big boy. You are a big boy. Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy. Yes, you are. Oh, <laughs> boy, excellent. Say thumbs up, Mom. Shout out for Farm. Good boy. Good boy, excellent. Alrighty. Uh, I think he likes you. He Can I does. give you a hug, hello? Is that you okay? give her a card? Oh, yeah. you're privileged. Oh, thank you. Your privilege doesn't so give everyone cuddles, much. does it? This is your new classroom. Ah, wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. It really actually is quite overwhelming for us as parents. I can only imagine what it's like for him, but it's a beautiful school. There's obviously children here with lots of disabilities. It just seems like there's going to be more care in more areas um, than we expected. I think it's going to be great. What shapes can you see? <gasps> wow. What is? What is it? Kate and Pete's initial worries about whether this was the right school appear to be put aside as Harvey gets to grips with the new gadgets in his classroom. Hi, Nanny. Nanny. Well, one, two, three. Whee! Katie's mum, Amy, is an important part of the family and as a proud grandma, she's keen to see Harvey happy in a new school. I think it's going to be a new learning curve here for Harvey and for us. But I think it's also good for Harvey to experience all these different things and different environments. It's life experience for him, really. It can only improve him because, like, he's learning more. He's not going to be sort of daunted by lots of things. So I think, yeah, it's really important that he goes to different places as much as you can. And he won't be frightened to do things. Harvey Price. Harvey Price. Harvey, do it. Do it loud, louder. He's going to keep them on their toes, isn't he? Yay! Katie and Peter are determined to take advantage of the different techniques of care in the United States and hope that Harvey will make even more progress. Okay, let's just briefly talk about his nutrition and, and that kind of thing. Now, I know he doesn't have food allergies, which is good. Anything you can get him into vegetables or fruits or anything like that. And he is doing a lot better, so he's more willing to try. Okay. These are all physical activities. If, if he can do them, okay. is he allowed to do them? I'd like him to try everything. Okay. But he definitely does swimming. Yeah, we are. We are. He has been we'd love bowling. him to try. You do have been... a bowling alley here, right? I didn't show you our little bowling alley. Really? Downstairs. <laughs> How awesome. After a chance to reflect in the grounds, Katie seems positive. At first I was a bit unsure because of the other kids in his class. I thought um, there's no peers for him to like, look up to or, you know, to encourage him. But they said each kid has a different programme, so it won't hold him back at all. You know, I don't compare him to other kids because they might be more forward in other ways. And Harvey's unique, and I just want the best for Harvey, that's all. But it's important that Harvey doing? has his say. Do you like your school? Do you want to stay in this school? Or do you want to go home to school? Yeah. You want to stay at this school? Oh. In America. You want it in America? OK, you go to this school in America. Coming up in part two, have Katie and Peter finally bought too much? All the telly's need to go, that needs to go in first. Will Pete get his own way? He's absolute selfish. I'm paying for it. And will LA change Katie? I am what I am. Yeah, tough. It's Tuesday the 3rd of February and the beginning of the family's first week in America. For their stay in LA, they've rented an eight-bedroom mansion in Malibu with a tennis court, manicured gardens and lavish decor. It may have all of the mod cons, but something it doesn't have are the children's toys, which they had to leave behind in the UK. So today, they're hitting the toy shops. I've had a full nine hours sleep last night, so, and I came on today, I've got no frustration in me, 
the hormones are going to settle now, so I'm good moods now, up for anything. Do you know the sex never came into any of that? There might not be any sex, but something Kate and Pete always love doing together is flashing the plastic. Like fitness here, Toys R Us, yeah, that's it. Oh, Sally Supplies is there, I love it. Oh my God, and it's like right next to Teriyaki Grill, which is just like perfect. Oh my God, we oh my got God. everything we want, baby. I don't want to go anywhere. I, I like I want to live. Eat. I want to live in the parking lot. So great. Oh my God, you can't take a picture of me without my fucking sunglasses on, my And I'm wearing the same shirt I wore I yesterday. I can't work this fucking thing, all right. baby. All right, all right now, come on, mate. Have a kiss, please, before we get out. Yeah. Oh, only because she's found a beauty supply shop. Come on, baby. One more time. No, I'm not going to let you have it. Come in. I want a kiss. Under the watchful eye of the press, a smoochy Kate and Pete are off to fill their toy cupboard to make the children feel more at home. Back at the house, Kate's mum, Amy, is getting Harvey ready for his first proper day at school. Say, colour. Well done. <laughs> well, we're going to his new school today. Um, he knows he's going to school because he's already said School of America. No, what's his... The drum that he played with. OK, we're coming. He's impatient. He wants to go, so we better go. Come on. So let's go to school. No. New school today. And... Harvey's condition means he's resistant to change, but despite a new school differing from his normal routine, he seems excited to get going. Kate's mum, Amy, has been hands-on with Harvey's care since he was born. Girl, let's go. Come on in. She wants to get him settled into daily life as quickly as possible, as she knows that Harvey's happiness is integral to the family being able to stay in L.A. Amy's keen not to distract Harvey on his first day, so hangs back. Let's go inside. OK. Do you like music? Yes. Can I hear yes? Can I hear yes? Yes. Thank you, Harvey. Why don't we change? Oh, are you done? Oh, oh. Uh -oh. We're all done. We're all done. You know what we do when we have those kind of behaviors in the class? We stand up. And you know what we do? We jump. We jump. Can you jump with me? That's right, Harvey. We jump. Let's jump again. I'm getting... I think he's doing all right. I think he's testing them. I think he's I think he's giving them a bit of a run around at the moment, seeing what he can get away with with them. But it seems all right, isn't he? He's settled down, I can't think. Harvey. All right, we're going to play the instrument. Let's get ready. Well, I thought I was going to be here all day with Harvey to get him settled in. But to be honest, we've been here about just over an hour and they're dealing with me fantastic. They know exactly what they're doing, so that's it. Can you say yes? Yes. Back in the retail park, the toy shop shelves are bare and everyone's lending a hand. <laughs> Including one of the more chivalrous paparazzi. Thank you, right. thank you very much. much. Thank you. Hey, guys. Chaos rules until Katie, who's done this a few times before, sorts everyone out. You need to take that off. You can... All the tellies need to go. That needs to go in first. That's it. All right, now pass that through the bed. Thank you. <laughs> this is it's madness. It's because the tellies are in the way. Yeah, that's all right, that's all right. The tellies need to come out. What a nightmare. You take the back. Uh, hello, guys. I'm holding the TV. Do you know what I mean? Is that everything? We did it. Is that everything? I can't believe it. To the Pap's disbelief, they managed to cram a whole shop's worth of toys into one car. So, shopping's done. Or is it? Claire? Determined to look the part in celeb-centred LA, Pete borrows manager Claire's motor to head to the car showroom. I love it. <laughs> Kate, yeah? if you met me right now, would you think for...? If I saw you in, in that car, I think, what a twat. Well, I look at you in that and I think... I'm a mum. Yeah, I think she must have... But if we're in England I and they see what flash cars have got, I've got nothing to prove over here. about 12 different blokes. What have I got to prove over here? Yeah, you... Yeah, OK. What I you, am what I am. Yeah, tough. You don't like this car? No. 
say that again. Well, I'm driving it. Goodbye. Are you a male escort? Without her male escort, it's an all-girl affair and Katie and sister Sophie head for home. Yo, bitches, we're in America! Oh, I don't know if I'm getting gear. Might help if it was in gear, Katie. <laughs> oh, my God, I've been left in the car on my bloody own. Me, my sister and you guys with me. Go, go. <laughs> I'm smiling to myself because I'm achieving... You know, some people don't like to drive in London because it's really busy and like... And here I am in La Sienica, California, driving on the wrong side of the road, not knowing bloody where I'm going, just following a navigator. But I knew this first week would be, you know, a bit all over the place, like anywhere you go. But it's sort of sinking in now that we are actually staying. It's really weird. Check right rear tyre pressure. And I can smell burning, is that normal? Is that us? I don't know about cars. <laughs> Why don't you quickly jump out and have a look? Because we're in traffic. <gasps> Flat tyre. Are you serious? Yeah. Don't lie. I'm, I swear on your life. Oh no, are you serious? Oh, what are we going to do? I can't be stranded here. Drive slowly. Oh my god, you can hear it. That's the car place. Go, go there, go there. Desperate, the girls go see a car go. stereo showroom. Excuse me. We've got a flat tyre. Can you change your wheel? We've got a tyre shop about eight blocks down on the right side. Thanks. Thanks. The fucking men, <laughs> men, are useless. I thought our English accent might have bought I us did. the tyre. I did, excuse me, I was like that. Excuse me. <laughs> Is that a toy? Our tyre's gone. No, I think it's a toy. Oh, there's a, oh my god, there's a police officer. Shall I ask him? Yeah. Excuse me? No, no, we're going to stop literally turn talking right, to the police. Then turn Excuse right. me. No, that's alright, just wait. Let another me. man. And we've got a flat tyre. Do you know where the nearest place is? Because we don't live here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's flat. The back one. one. No, it's that front one. It looks okay. Was it the back one? Is it the back one then? No, they, they both look okay. Oh, it says check right rear tyre pressure. Sorry, we're girls and we don't know. Yeah, <laughs> the tyre pressure looks okay. Is it okay? Right, it looks okay. Oh, I'll go home then. Okay. Thank right, you, yeah. sorry about that. No Thank problem. you. Sorry. Well done, so. Oh, idiot. So, it's the men that are useless? While the girls recover from their comprehensive lesson in mechanics, a pumped up Pete is in boy heaven. See, this is going to be shocking for me. Oh my God. Pete knows that if he's going to make an impression in image conscious LA, it's as important to be seen as to be heard. And the right car means everything. That is the car right there. Kate's gonna go, oh, I don't drive, I don't like Porsche, and you've gone and got one and you only got it for yourself. I'll go, yeah. <laughs> That's right. So we take it, we won't be seeing you tomorrow then. I'll leave it up, mate. You'll be in the doghouse in the car. Oh, big time. <laughs> <laughs> big time. Just out of curiosity, how much is this plan line seven? <laughs> but as a relieved Kate tells manager Claire about the flat tyre, she finds out what Pete's up to. She's going, she's saying, no, she won't drive it. I'm paying for it, so there's nothing to do with her. He's not. He's absolute selfish. He's selfish. I'm paying for it. If she wants to pay half of another car, I'll go halves with her on something else. Selfish or not, Pete set his sights and Kate will have to buy her own toys. So how soon can I drive it out? Uh, as soon as we get the paperwork punched up, you're, uh, you're ready to go. So. I couldn't resist it. What can I say? I, and it's really bad. It's almost like, a, not a disease, but it's bad. It's really bad. Is there anything more a man could want? Hopefully get a blowy off the missus one of these nights. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Still waiting. Thanks a lot, guys. No worries, man. Cheers, Pete. Enjoy it, man. Thanks, man. Get your lunch. Cheers, be careful. Man. Yeah. So, after impressing the laddish paps, Pete sets off with his new toy. Do you love a bit of a turboage? Do you love a bit of a turboage? I love it. 
I absolutely love it. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. This is proper, isn't it? Proper LA dream. Coming up in part three, Pete gives the press what they want. Now he is a knob doing all that. He doesn't normally do that after a run. The kids get exactly what they want. Wow! Is this like Christmas? But Katie definitely doesn't. I can't believe I've let myself down. It's 6 a.m. on Wednesday, the 4th of February. Look! And we've got people watching us today. And it's possibly the earliest start the paparazzi have had in years. I'll have a cough up after this. I'm ball today. For Kate, Pete and Kate's sister Sophie, the reality of running the gruelling 26 miles of the London Marathon is looming as they begin their first LA training session. We've got to be serious about this. We can't muck about. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it is for charity. We've got to do it. We're going to try and do 11 miles today, but we don't normally have people taking pictures and being filmed, so just extra pressure. You know, it's one of the best challenges we've ever had. Because I, honestly, me and Kate, to get us up in the morning and it not be the kids that we have to get up, forget it. They may have started training in wintry Britain, but Malibu Beach is somewhat different to their usual running route. We're stretching, looking at the view of look dolphins. dolphins. Look at them. I mean, that's unbelievable. In under 13 weeks, they'll be pounding the London pavements with thousands of others for their two chosen charities, Vision and NSBCC. Since training began, their previous best has been six miles, and today they're attempting a huge leap in distance to 11. So if we're doing the 11 mile, then that was a quarter of the way. If we're doing the five and a half mile, that was halfway, so we'll see what happens now. I like the way you move. There's been a massive media interest in the price Andre moved to LA. Paparazzi pictures can be worth thousands of pounds each, and today the paps are running for their money. Jesus, we're from Southern California, we're not used to this. Oh. We love you guys back in the UK. Much love. They have nearly completed three quarters of the intended 11 miles when Katie starts to feel the strain. Oh, my leg! Oh. It's just my, my bones are really aching me. <laughs> They're going to ache tonight. In here, and it's me. Feeling good, feeling good. Lifting. Yeah, well, don't do too much, OK? But as they start the last leg, Katie can't go on. I might have to stop guys, you go. Okay. My leg can't take it. That's all right, stretch though. Yeah. I can't do anymore. My leg's fucked. I'm pissed off. Oh, fuck. The pricey never gives up, so it's Shit. a bitter blow. I'm so pissed off, so fucking pissed off. I could have done it, but my legs can't do it. I can't believe I've let myself down. I've done this. I can lift that leg fine. Oh, but that one hurts. Shit. Jesus Christ, what have I done to it? I've got an injury. Oh, my knee. If we go and see where uh, Pete and my sister are, they're going to do 11. And all day, all I'm going to hear is, we did it, we did 11. And I'll be like, yeah, well, I didn't. Gutted. My feet here absolutely feel bruised. I don't know if it's the trainers or what, but my God. Go, Sophie, woo -hoo! Can't deserve a Starbucks after this, dude. A blowjob, for sure. Your sister's doing bloody brilliantly. 
Well, she is 19, Pete. I'm 36 this month. So she should no. be more fit. What really. makes it amazing for you? No. Is you've got three children and you still did that. I'm so proud of you. No, we've all done well. Anyone who does the marathon train or any running, they do well. Well done. That really hurt. I'm not going to lie. You look gorgeous. Don't stop. Oh, right. Well. Pete manages all 11 miles, but has energy to spare. It's normally Kate who's happy to give the paps an eyeful, but this time it's Pete who gives them the perfect picture opportunity. Now he is a knob doing all that. He doesn't normally do that after a run. I always do push-ups at the end. Don't give me that bollocks. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Always. You can give me the eyes all you like. <laughs> it's afternoon in Malibu. Yesterday, Katie and Pete went shopping for toys for the children. What a beautiful day! They've been hidden in the car overnight, right, and this is the first chance they've been able to give them all out. Yay! Oh, my God. Is this like Christmas? Uh. <laughs> She's like, uh. You hold each other's hands, they're so cute. Got loads of presents. Loads of presents. Wow. Princess out the way, please. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Come up here. Bowling! Yep, you sure have got bowling. Princess. <laughs> Junior, let Princess have her toy. You've got lots of toys. She loves it. Kate? Yeah? Why would they be so thick, man? And give us two of the same toy. He's going to tell the American kids he's got a bogey. She's getting spoiled, and I don't like spoiled kids. Yeah, ask her. So we're gonna to have to uh, play a bit super nannying around here. Then she can't talk, so the only way she can say that what she don't want is by screaming. Not asking. With Junior losing the battle of wills, he takes refuge with dear old dad. Let's get this all out first. Oh, oh, oh. And as Pete builds the toys, he realises that drone of a helicopter can mean only one thing, that the paps will stop at nothing. They're taking pics. I don't know what's so interesting. Um, be a lot more interesting if Kate was outside because she's got she looks hot. But I have no idea what they actually want to take a picture of, but go ahead as long as they don't take one of us, me and Kate being naughty. You know, at the end of the day it's free world. Do you know what I mean? And again, if you want to complain about oh, things yes. like that, then don't move to Los Angeles. Move to like Mississippi, 
Oh, you're a good boy. The children are content with their new toys, so before the day draws to a close, Kate decides to take Pete's sports car for a spin, even though yesterday she'd been very vocal about her dislike for it. But once out and about, Katie's having car trouble. Again. I mean, guess what? I've noticed the petrol gauge is on low again. So we must find a petrol station. There must be a petrol station around, surely. Oh, no, the light's on now. I'm panicking. But she'll hardly be abandoned with a convoy of paparazzi cars following close behind. You put them all. <laughs> I'm going to ask him something. Is there a <laughs> petrol station near here? It's been on empty for ages, I've just noticed. <laughs> oh, well. Look at them all. <laughs> They're all going to Oh, no, this is so embarrassing. In the UK, having a group of men with telephoto lenses on your tail can be a pain. But here in the States, not only are they friendly, they're useful. Oh, come on. It's not working again. Put in 90210. I like my <laughs> So, has Pete's new baby passed the Katie test? I bet the first thing he says to me, it's nice to drive, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be like, it's all right. You spoiled <laughs> cow, we're going to me. Whatever. I couldn't do the petrol. They're all in the station taking pictures. Okay. They had to help me do it. So, what do you think of the car? Oh, do you know what? I told you I know him that well. I said the first thing people say is... What do you think of it? Yeah, it's nice. That's it. Good, don't drive it again. Whilst Katie's been away, Pete's been preparing for tonight's barbecue. Once an Aussie, always an Aussie. Wait, that's just warm up. Yeah, it's the first barbie in Malibu. Look at your surroundings. I mean, it's unbelievable. Mmm. Telling you, this is going to be nice. Tomorrow is a huge day for Pete. It's his first day in studio, and he's got yeah, a lot resting on this new album. Wait. So I've booked out a, ho a Hollywood studio, one that... It's meant to be very, very good. It's still all different shades of pop, you know, except for cheesy. You've got soul pop, R&B pop, um, rock pop, dance pop, but no cheesy pop. That's off the menu on this album, and I mean it as well, because my whole purpose of this whole trip is for the album, so, yeah, and I, I've said this before and I'll say it again, the reason why I believe it's going to work is because everyone in the media, everyone in the industry is expecting it to be shit. And that's, that's what's driving me. Because I know what I'm capable of doing and I know what I've released before. And I know there's been some shockers. I'm going to be the first to admit it. But there's no excuse. There's no, you can't go, oh, yeah, but it's because the record... You can't. You did what you did, great. But now it's time, at least I'm saying, if you're going to judge, judge by this. Go, go, go. One step. Hey, One step. Is. One step. He only come out because I said food. Can I have a cuddle and a kiss, please? Kiss? <laughs> did you miss Daddy? Did you have a good day at school? What did you do at school? No, yes. What did you do at school? Did you play? Harvey, give Princess a cuddle. No. Good boy and girl. <laughs> It's their last night of leisure time before Pete's hard work starts, and it's a real get-together. Well, everyone, welcome, whoever's here. Uh, Princess No. It's kind of the end of the settling-in period, even though we've got still got to settle in, but it's, oh, a, start, longer than a, week it's a start of work in. now. And um, it's kind of exciting. And this weather's beautiful, and we, we did the long run today, and it's just been awesome. And I love you. <laughs> Cut.
Coming up in part four, Kiss. is Pete losing his Kiss. touch? Kiss, please. Forget it. Will Katie make the grade with the LA horsey set? I just hope I fit in. And Pete's musical fight back begins. I'm a lover, not a fighter, but, but, but I am. I'm a fighter, and at the end of the day, this is what I want to do. I believe in it. It's Thursday the 5th of February, and although the family haven't even been here a week, they've quickly settled into a routine. The first job for busy mum, Katie, is the school run. It can be hard work when your child doesn't behave in front of other mums, but in front of the world's media, it's added pressure for Kate. And then you come out, Mum. Good boy. Hiya. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. This one? Yeah, this way. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get you cakey. Good boy. Good listening. Hi. One, two, three. Up. Right, listen to Mummy. Look at Mummy. Look at Mummy. What does Harvey want? Mummy. Go on then, go and smile at the camera then. Go on then, smile at the camera. Sorry, he wants to smile at you. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic! Right, show me where we're going. Run, 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 run. Good, funny. <laughs> Trail that way. Back at the house, Pete's also got to do his fatherly duties. Taking the kids to school today. Kids, we're going to school. Yay. In the fast car, come I, on then. I want to help you drive. Can you hear the bird? Mm. Say bird. <gasps> uh, we could do this all day, but we have to go to school, Yay. sweet pea. Although this is educational. Here, come here, Bubba. Kiss. 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 Please. Forget it. Katie and Pete have already proved you can fit a whole toy shop into one car, so two small children in a sports car should be no problem. OK, then, if that's what you want, that's fine. At the school, it's time for Harvey to say goodbye to Mum. Mummy's going to go and then come back. Give me a kiss, then. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Mummy loves you so much. That's right. Let Mummy see you do your circle then. Go on in. Go on in. Do the finish. Harvey. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to finish. We're going to finish. We're going to finish. You're okay. So we're going to stand up. Now I want you to be a big boy and say what to Mommy. What do you say to Mommy? Sorry. Bye bye. Good boy. Job. Give me five. Good job. Yay. Good job. Let's close the door for Mommy. Do you want to open the door for Mommy? Yes. Yes. Let's open the door for mommy. Let's hop. We're gonna hop to mommy. We're gonna open the door. Then we're gonna close it. Close the door. Right, Harvey? We're gonna see you in your later. Close the door. Say bye bye. As a happy Harvey waves goodbye, Pete successfully delivers Junior and Princess to the nursery, and Kate's off to her next stop. I'm gonna go to the now. But I don't know where it is, so I'm gonna have a look. Perhaps we should tell them where it is. Oh, I'll tell, tell you guys where it is. What? Where I'm going next, my foot and my knee. What's up with your foot? From running. Caring concern from the paps is definitely a new thing, and with this new familiarity, one of them has caught Sister Sophie's eye. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I think that's uh, a good looking version of Kid Rock. Does he? He wore a little bowler hat yesterday, and I was like, that. Oh, you noticed Ooh. him then? <laughs> he did. Yeah. Oh. We want to know how old you are. <laughs> yeah. 21. 21. Shut up! <laughs> You've got an admirer here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or was it you? Yeah, All right, so anyway, yeah. don't need to drive. You've gone red. <laughs> Can I take a picture of your red face? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is he really 21? He's not, not 21. 30. He's, He's 30. 30. 30. Can't take the girls anyway, can I? <laughs> After hurting her foot running yesterday, Katie has had to pay a visit to the foot care clinic and discovers that when you tell one friendly snapper where you're going, a whole army appears. Well, 
I've got these Molly bloody things on them. I've just had electronics through them and my knee, and he just flipped me on my thumb. Right? <laughs> and then suddenly, that's how Tom was going all like this to my legs and my feet, and I'm like, whoa. The next stop is to check out some stables, and she's got strict requirements. Apparently, these guys are really good looking. Where we go? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, the guys are really good looking where we're going. But they're gay, all right, Pete? Are they gay? Shit. <laughs> no, of course I'm use on. Don't use that. It'd kill me. Kate has spent a small fortune on flying her new thoroughbred horse to LA and it needs the best possible stables. So she heads to the plush and exclusive Amelian farm. Oh, wow, look at that school. Kate's recently developed a thirst for riding competitively and hasn't entirely ruled out the 2012 Olympics. But her first priority is a tour and to find those good looking boys. There's just girls, there's just girls here, we call it the Barbie's Dream Barn. Oh, I love it, that's perfect for me. So, no boys at all then, Pete will be pleased. This is the place, the Barbie Dream Barn. <laughs> but with a nickname like Barbie's Dream Barn, Katie's sold. Normally, Katie couldn't care less about well-heeled clientele and deluxe decor, but thousands of miles from home, it seems this horsey set has made quite an impression. It's just clean, perfect arenas, it's private, um, perfect, and it's well, hopefully not too far away from home. And it's all girls and new friends for me to meet. So now I love it. My God, so clean, I'll be frightened to get the horse out of the stable in case I make some dirt. Oh, my God. I just hope I fit in. In an unusually rainy LA, it's a huge day for Pete as today is his first day back in studio. The main reason for the move to LA is for him to complete his new album, an ambition he's had on hold for a long time. All it's actually doing is making me feel like what I was like before I met Kate. I was just doing whatever I wanted to do because I not not had no one to answer to but in a sense it is when you're married you, you kind of the rules change a bit I think hi it's Peter Andre I've got a session book with AC what the hell it looks like a roller coaster determined to make the album a success Pete's been collaborating with top producers What's Frankie up, and you AC doing, thank you are you nice doing, to man? see you, man. <laughs> Good to see you both, actually. Like a new... See, you know now, this is it. We've got to finish the album now. That's it. Yeah, well, you know, you've got a lot of time, you know what I mean? How many more records we need to do? About four? Well, I reckon because there's a couple that I'm not feeling so much now. Mm -hmm. So we might have to swap or change or something. I like this place. It's very cool, very... Something about it. Pete's working to a strict deadline to finish the entire album, but with the state-of-the-art studio and the industry's finest, there's no stopping him. Would the guitar be that loud all the way through? It'll be sitting right in, wouldn't it? After enjoying worldwide fame, he spent 10 years in the musical wilderness, concentrating on family life. So this new album is a huge gamble for Pete. You guys live out here. Is that, would that work out here? Because I love this song, I absolutely love it. Because what I'm trying to explain is that if we do it specifically for UK, then it may work in the UK, but then it might not have a chance anywhere else. So, but that's why, you know, you, you make the, the album as diverse as possible. The, the thing is, what I don't want is an album where certain songs would work in America, but others wouldn't. And then if it works here, it's got the potential to work anywhere in the world. Although he's ploughed a lot of his own money into the project, for Pete, this is a huge emotional investment. What do you say in the second pre-chorus? Um, you say, who would have known, has a wife, two kids and a three-storey home. Mm -hmm. So who would have known, I'd have a wife, three kids. <laughs> <laughs> and a big ass mansion in Malibu. Right. I don't know if that's gonna rhyme it's not well, gonna but rhyme. um but you Pete's can... back where he belongs and he's starting to feel that LA could be his home. It's been a great day so far. Finished writing the song behind closed doors. I'm going in to do the lead vocal now. Um, and then I'll probably get home very late. I said if you're gonna do this, you do it right. You've gotta be a fighter, you'll get knocked down 
again and again. You've got to get back up, dust yourself off, and keep going. And that is what I'm doing. I am a fighter. I'm a lover, not a fighter. But I am. I'm a fighter. And at the end of the day, this is what I want to do. I believe in it. And the only way I can expect anyone to believe in it is if I believe in it. I love this. I love what I'm doing. I love it. Coming up on next week's Katie and Peter Stateside. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> Get off! Are Katie and Peter planning a new duet? No. <laughs> Katie lets off some steam. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Junior's showing his pulling power. How do you do it? You're three. I'm 36 and I still struggle. If you missed the last episode of Katie and Peter, the next chapter stateside, you can watch it with ITV Player. Available at itv.com slash itvplayer or on BT Vision and Virgin Media Digital TV On Demand.